Okay, now I want to show you another method that you can use to construct a cycloid. But now we want to make use of a standard question. A standard question. Actually, this question was used by WAEC, I think, um, 2018, 2018 or 19, if I would be right. So this is the question. Here is the question, question 15. And the question says that a circle of, diam of 50 mm diameter rolls along a straight line without slipping. Draw the curve, the curve traced out by a point P on the circumference for one complete revolution of the circle. Name the curve. Draw a tangent to the curve at a point on it 40 mm from the line 40 mm from the line okay so i'm using another method so the first thing that you need to do is to draw horizontal center line you draw horizontal center line okay then we draw a vertical center line here. A vertical center line. Okay. Now the diameter is the diameter is um, fifty mm. Diameter is okay. Diameter is fifty mm. So the radius is twenty five. So take 25 mm on your ruler. And put it at this point here. Draw a circle. Draw a circle. Okay, divide the circle into 12 equal parts. Divide the circle into 12 equal parts. Put it at this point. You put it here. Okay, so we are divided into 12 equal parts. So I'm going to number this point. I'll call it point P P0. I'll call it P0. So point P zero. So in this point, so I just let me call this one. So this point is two. So this is point three. So this is is point four. So this is five. This is six, seven, eight. So this is nine. This is ten. And this is 11. Okay, so the next thing is we join the point together. So 2 goes with two, with 8. So you join 2 and 8 together with a straight line. Then 1 goes with 7. 1 goes with 7. Then 11 and 5 together. Join 11 and 5 together with a straight line. Then we have 10 goes with 4. Alright, so after this, we now draw a straight line upon which the circle is rolling. As I've said that, a cycloid is a curve produced when a circle is rolling over a straight line. So the curve formed when a circle is rolling over a straight line is known as a cycloid. So from here also, we also draw the horizontal line from 1 and 11, from 10 and 2, draw a straight line, draw a horizontal line, and then 4 
and eight. Draw a straight line. And then five and seven. So draw a straight line through them. Then six is the last one. So draw a straight line. Okay. All right. So after doing this, on this line, the circle is rolling on this line. The circle is rolling on this line. The line that comes out from P0. So the circle is rolling on it. So we are going to calculate the circumference of this circle. So this diameter is 50. So the circumference of circle is pi d. So pi is 3.14. So 3.14 times 50 will give us 157, approximately 157 mm. So we are going to measure 157 mm on this line. On this line that comes out from P. So measure 157 mm on this line. So this is 157. This is 157. So we are going to divide this 157 into 12 equal parts as we have done for the circle. We divided the circle into 12 equal parts. So this line is the circumference of this circle. So it should also be divided into 12 equal parts. So let me call this, let me call it P0 prime. P0 prime. Okay? So on this line, on this line here, so I will make 12 arcs on this line. So this is one. There is two. So this is three. This is four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so the last one will be joined with point P zero prime. So it goes like this. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is that I will draw parallel lines at each point lines that are parallel to this line so move it to the next point draw a line okay so next point draw a line next So if I number this, so if this is one, two, this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, so at each point I will draw a vertical line on each point. I will draw a vertical line on each point so it goes like this so starting from here you can start from here so draw so draw a vertical line
So, so next is this center line. So let's call this center. Let's call it center C0. So this is C1. This is C2. So this is C3. So this is C4. This is C5. C6. C7. C8. C9. So this is C10. C11. And this one, so let's call it C0 prime. C0 prime. Okay. Now with this, so the next thing we are going to do is to take the radius of this circle. Take the radius of this circle so I can put it at the center here and extend to this point. So which is equal to the radius of the circle. Then you put that center one. Put that center one. So when you put that center one, so you draw an arc on line one. So it cut line one at this point. It cut line one at this point. Just draw an arc. So it cut line one at this point. Here's the point. Here's the point here. So next. So we put our center two. Put our center two. So draw an arc on line two. So it cut line two at this point. Then put it at center three. So draw an arc okay. here. So it cut it at this point. Here is line three. Then four. So it cut it at this point. Then we move to five. So draw an arc on this line. So it cut it at this point. Then to six. To six, it touched this point here. Okay, so it touched at this point. Then seven, put it at center seven. So on this here, touch it here. So this is the point. Then eight. So it cut line eight. Cut line eight here. So this is eight. So next you move it to nine. So we look at it. So it cut line nine at this point. Then you move it to ten. So this is line ten. So this is line ten here. So it cut line ten at this point. So this is the point. Then you move it to eleven. Put at eleven. So this is line eleven. This line here, line eleven. So it cut it at this point. So this is the point here. Okay. So this is the last point. So this is the last point. As we have started here, as we have started here, as zero here. Okay. So we are going to use the French curve to join the points together. To use the French curve to join the points together. So starting from here. And join this three together. Okay, so next. So I can join this this four. I can join these four together. Okay, so next. So that's the curve. So this is the cycloid. So that's the cycloid. Now, so we have produced the curve. We are asked to name the 
cough. So the cough is known as a cyclone. It's known as a cyclone. That's the name of the cough. So the next thing that I want to do now is that the question says that we should draw a tangent at a point 40 mm from the line. From the line. From which line? It is from this line. From this line on which the circle is rolling. From this line on which the circle is rolling. So I want to make it thick. So the circle is rolling on this line. It's like a tire that is rolling on the road. A tire that is rolling on the road. So the curve that will be produced when the tire is rolling on the road is also a cycloid. When the when it moves for one complete revolution, so cycloid is the curve that will be produced. So from point 40 mm, so that to draw a tangent from point, from point 40 mm from this line, from this line, point 40 mm at point 40 mm from this line. So just set your ruler along this line and measure 40. So this is 40. So this point here, this point is 40 mm. This is point 40. So from that point, from there at that point, I'm going to draw a straight line. I'm going to draw a straight line from this point here. I will draw a straight line. I will draw a straight line from this point. So draw a straight line. So the line goes like this. Wherever I touch here. So wherever I touch here. So you touch this point. So this is the point. So this is the point. This is the point. So let me call this point. Let me call it point Q. So let me call it point Q. Now from this point, you take the radius of the circle, take the radius of the circle, which is 25 mm, and you put it at point Q here. Put it at point Q, and you draw an arc on this center line. Draw an arc on this center line. So, um, draw an arc on this center line. Okay, so draw an arc on this center line. This point, so where the arc touch the center line, so call it point R. So call this point, call it R. So this is point R. Now from point R, From point R, draw a perpendicular line. From point R here, draw a perpendicular line down. So wherever I touch here, wherever I touch on this line, so you touch this point. So call it S. Okay, so call it S. Now you now draw a line from this point S, draw a line from S. So the line goes like this, and you draw it to pass through point Q, to pass through point Q. Okay, so this line that we have drawn, this line that we have drawn, this line, okay, so this line is known as number, is known as number. So this is a normal line. This is a normal. Okay, so this is a normal line. So, but we are asked to draw a tangent to this. So, the tangent that we are going to draw must be at an angle 90 degree to this normal line. So, I will take my protractor and set it here. So, I set it here. like this protractor okay I'm using this protractor now I'm using this protractor so set it so make sure this 90 90 degree 
is on this straight line, it's on the normal line. So that will help us to be able to draw a line that will be perpendicular to the normal. So we just set it like this and we draw a straight line, draw a straight line to that point. Okay, so after setting like this, so we draw a line. Okay, so this line, so let me call it line, so line TU, TU, okay, so this line TU is the tangent, so this line, this line is the tangent, this is the tangent line, so this line is the tangent that we are asked to draw. So this is tangent that we are asked to draw. So it's as simple as shown here. So this question is a Y question. So Y used it maybe 2018 or 2019. They used it. So they used it. So it's as simple as I explained here. So practice, look for questions relating to something like this and solve it. And then subscribe to my channel. Just type to Daniel Lawali is my on YouTube and you will see all the work that I have uploaded so you can view them or you can watch them there or you download so anyone that you like just do it but when you subscribe whenever I upload a new video you get a notification so thank you